my viewer. E-bikes are exploding in popularity these days, but they're expensive and sometimes hard to price. That's why we took on this project of locating 25 incredible e-bikes for under $1,000. So I hope you'll help us out by joining our community and getting us past that 30,000 subscriber mark. This is the Hay Bike Cityscape, an entry-level cruiser e-bike that's approachable, fun, and easy for anyone to set up and ride. It comes with a lockable 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery pack that you can easily remove and bring into your home or office for charging. The 360 watt hour battery pack delivers 25 miles of range on pure electric. The rear rack can carry up to 100 pounds and the optional saddlebag makes a perfect place to store your wares. The 350 watt geared hub motor provides a smooth and quiet ride great for getting around town. Another great feature we like is that the removable battery pack acts as a power bank so you can charge your electronics on the go. The Hay Bike Cityscape is currently $900. Up next is the VV C26, an electric city step through cruiser with a 350 watt or optional 500 watt geared hub motor in the rear hub. The handlebars, brakes, and display buttons are easy to use, and the front and rear mechanical disc brakes provide ample stopping power. The seat, cargo rack, and 8 amp hour battery pack are removable, providing optimum storage. The front and rear wheels are made of durable aluminum alloy, and the top speed is 20 miles per hour, making this a Class 2 e-bike. The price, at the time of this recording, is $760 for the 350 watt version and $840 for the 500 watt version. But if you want a real sweet deal, we found the C26 on Amazon for $680. If you're looking for an e-bike that's a little more fold worthy, then maybe it's time to check out the Ecotrick Fold Away Fat Tire e-bike. With 20 inch in diameter, four inch thick fat tires, beach and other off-road terrains become minor obstacles to your riding enjoyment. The total weight with battery is 56 pounds and the top speed is 20 miles per hour thanks to the 500 watt rear hub motor. The 12.5 amp hour 36 volt battery pack isn't the most powerful on the market, but it is more or less what you'd expect in this price range. The display panel is minimal and the half twist grip throttle and Shimano derailleur aid in delivering a quality riding experience. The price is $890. Up next on our list of e-bikes for under $1,000 is the Hit Road 26 inch electric mountain bike. The 350 watt nominal 500 watt peak power Bafang rear hub motor delivers 50 Newton meters of torque. The 36 volt 10.4 amp hour battery is mounted to the down tube and the handlebars are adjustable up to 50 degrees. The front suspension is great for tackling local trails and the top speed is 20 miles per hour, making this another class two e-bike. One thing we really like is that the motor has been specifically designed to avoid overheating when riding on rough terrain. The 26 inch wheels and 21 speed Shimano brand shifters make tackling hills a breeze. The Hit Road Safari is also great for city riding, commuting, or just going out for coffee. The removable battery can deliver seven miles of riding in just 15 minutes of charging. And we found the Hit Road on Amazon priced at a mere $760. The JC on EV7 is a great sub $1,000 option for cruising around town. It features a 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery. The three inch fat tires and front and rear suspension work together to provide excellent grip, superior shock absorption, and an extremely comfortable riding experience. The updated LCD display on the 2.0 model is intuitive and the 500 watt rear hub motor can take you to a top speed of 20 miles per hour, also making this a class two e-bike. The half twist grip throttle means you can spin this sucker around and fishtail it all day long. We're actually working on our full review of the JCON EB7 e-bike. When we're done with it, we'll put a link to that full review in the description. Let's imagine you want an e-bike that easily tackles the soft sandy beaches. It has to be comfortable, reliable, and look great at sunset. Then look no further than the Mac Rover 100 by Avantrek. 
The aluminum alloy frame is lighter and more rigid than steel, and the 26 inch by 4 inch fat tires are tough enough to power you through just about any terrain. The 36 volt, 13 amp hour battery pack delivers a range of between 25 and 50 miles. The front suspension fork provides a bump absorbing 60 millimeters of travel and the 500 watt nominal motor can reach a peak of 750 watts. And if that doesn't pique your interest for a beach going fat tire bike, then maybe the Mac Rover 100's $900 price tag and one year warranty will. If interested in this or any other e-bikes on the list, we'll leave links in the description to where you can buy them most affordably. Coming in at a steal of just $700, the Anchier Step Through Electric City Cruiser is a bargain e-bike with oodles of personality. The six-speed Shimano gear system is easy to operate and the front and rear mechanical disc brakes provide powerful braking. The 450 watt hour battery pack is removable and replaceable and the 26 inch by two inch tires deliver a smooth ride great for commuting. The 250 watt rear hub motor twist grip throttle, and multiple speed modes combine to deliver a top speed of 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers. My favorite aspect of the Anchier City Step Through Cruiser is probably the location of the battery though. Cleverly hidden within the rear cargo rack, this battery pack is as well hidden and discreet as they come. The Swagtron EB6 is a smaller framed, almost BMX style e-bike, albeit with 20 by four inch fat tires. You'll have plenty of time to ride around your neighborhood looking cool thanks to the 36 volt battery pack that takes five hours to charge. The seven speed Shimano shifters help you conquer a variety of terrain and the extra wide tires provide traction, grip, and plenty of shock absorption. The twist grip throttle and 350 watt rear hub motor will bring you to the top speed of 18 and a half miles per hour. Get your hands on the Swagtron EB6 for roughly $800. The electric XP Lite weighs a mere 46 pounds, which is roughly 16 pounds lighter than the full-size XP. It's also part of Electric's 48 volt battery system, giving it a top speed of 20 miles per hour. The lightweight removable battery can be charged indoors, and when fully charged, simply slide the battery pack back into the frame and you're good to go. The LCD display and half twist grip throttle create a seamless riding experience and the narrower 2.5 inch tires work great even on wet terrain. The folded dimensions are 36 by 16 by 26 inches, small enough to fit under a desk. And the XP Lite is $800. Now it's time for the Nacto Electric Cruiser. With stock 26 by 4 inch fat tires and adjustable front suspension made out of carbon steel, you can ride in style and maybe even revamp your commute. The water resistant 36 volt lithium battery pack is cleverly tucked away behind the seat tube and delivers an estimated 35 to 45 miles of range. Twist the throttle or use pedal assist to achieve the top speed of 20 to 25 miles per hour. And the Nocto Mini Cruiser is about $970. If you're on the market for an electric bike that doesn't look like an electric bike, then the Class 2 Hay Bike Race Plus might just be for you. With 26 inch tires and a thumb throttle, the city can be yours for the taking. The frame is light and durable with a 26 inch standover height, great for anyone between 5 foot 4 and 6 foot 4. And the 36 volt 12 and a half amp hour battery pack doubles as an external power pack and can deliver up to 40 miles of range in pedal assist mode. The price, 840 bucks. Chances are you didn't know that the beach apparel company Hurley Clothing was in the e-bike niche, and that's okay. The Amped is one of their first models, and it's not only super stylish, but it is surprisingly affordable too, proving that looking cool doesn't have to break the bank. The LCD display, premium 27 inch tires, and removable battery pack with keys are just a few reasons why we love this stylish bike. And perhaps the most important reason is the astounding $650 price tag. And while we're on the topic of Hurley, let's look at a few other of their models. Starting with the beach cruiser style Hurley Layback. Great for cruising to the beach, checking waves, or just plain adventuring, the 350 watt hub motor and removable battery ensure a safe and fun ride. The Hurley Layback is a mere $750. 
the Swagtron EB12, also known as the Messenger, is a city commuter electric bike with a removable battery and 700C wheels. The 7.5 amp hour battery doubles as a power bank as well and slides directly into the rear cargo rack. The top throttle speed is 16 and a half miles per hour and the range is 28 miles. And the EV12 is $800. And now it's time for a bit of bike fun. This fat tire e-bike comes with 4-inch fat tires, mechanical disc brakes, LED light, high-grade aluminum frame, display, and a half-twist grip throttle. The frame folds up tight for easy storage, and unfolding is a cinch. Simply lock the frame latch, lift the handlebars, and lock them into place. You can also adjust the handlebar height as needed. The front and rear disc brakes provide ample stopping power, and the 48 volt, 600 watt hour battery pack is on the larger end of the bikes on this list. The Big Fun Folding Fat Tire e bike is currently $900. The Aoster Motor A20 Fat Tire Folding Electric Bike is another great choice for a sub $1,000 e-bike. The LCD display, fork mounted headlight, and Shimano branded gears mean your ride will always be comfortable. The 500 watt motor provides enough power to get you around your town and, while there's no suspension, which is typical in this price range, the 20 by 4 inch fat tires definitely deliver a comfortable ride. The Aoster Motor comes with a 1 year warranty and a $700 and $20 price tag. The next incredible e-bike for under $1,000 is the same bike LO26 Folding Electric Mountain Bike. This e-bike features another 500 watt rear hub motor and another 48 volt lithium battery pack that delivers 10 amp hours of power. The wheel size is 26 inches and the front and rear suspension provide plenty of support for off-roading on trails, in parks, or even in the mountains. The 45 to 55 newton meters of torque provides strong climbing capabilities. This e-bike is also about $900. We also have the same bike folding fat tire style e-bike that is becoming quite coveted these days. Great for bumps and even small jumps, the integrated front and rear suspension is durable providing a comfortable ride. The twist grip throttle allows you to get all 500 watts and 40 newton meters of torque instantly. And the 18650 cells mean that the battery is safe and efficient and charge can be obtained via the charging port on the bike. Get this outdoor adventuring beast for about $990. Okay, not many brands have more than one e-bike for under $1,000, but not same bike, the same bike, and I'm not making this up, 20 LVXD30 is a mini e-bike with a frame similar to their fat tire e-bike, albeit with normal two inch wide tires. The suspension system consists of front shocks and a rear seat suspension post in place of full on rear suspension. The adjustable seat and handlebars make this bike great for any size rider. The top speed is 18 miles per hour, making this another class two e-bike and the stated range is between 25 and 43 miles, depending on rider weight, conditions, and which pedal assist mode is being used. Used. The price is $800. The Wing Freedom S and S2 are city commuter e-bikes built around 20-inch tires, decreasing their overall footprint and making them absolutely great for getting around town. There are three pricing models to choose from. The smallest and most affordable is the 8.8 amp hour battery for $950. The design is really what sets this model apart from others on this list, and I actually kind of think it looks like a budget-friendly van move. The 36-volt, 550-watt Bafang motor delivers 45 newton meters of torque and a top speed of 25 miles per hour. The Swift Volt e-bike is the kind of bike you buy when you want an e-bike that doesn't actually look like an e-bike. The top speed is 20 miles per hour and there is a half twist grip throttle so this bike is legally classified as a class 2 e-bike. The price tag is $900 and there are two color options to choose from. Black and this silver with orange trim that I would definitely choose if I were to buy this bike. The 36 volt 10 amp hour battery is hidden within the frame solidifying the this is not an e-bike look. The Ingwe C20 is another folding e-bike with 20 inch tires. 
However, the one big difference that sets this e-bike apart is the 19.2 amp hour battery pack. Now that is a lot of power in a $700 price tag. The three inch tires aren't exactly fat tires, but they are large enough to feel like BMX tires, giving you added grip and stability even when you're on the beach. The 250 watt nominal, 500 watt peak hub motor provides a quiet, exhilarating ride with virtually no sound. The claimed range is 95 miles thanks to that 19.2 amp hour battery pack. The Ride One Up Roadster V2 is an honorable mention coming in at $1,045. We've featured this e-bike in other videos and have even done a full review on it, which we'll link to in the description. This simple, fun, and fast electric bike is as clean as they come. The carbon fiber, single speed belt drive is simple and keeps your pant legs clean. The 350 watt nominal, 500 watt peak Sheng Yi branded geared hub motor delivers 40 newton meters of torque and a top speed of 24 miles per hour. Every e bike from the brand comes with a one year warranty and an unbelievable 30 day trial. If you're a bike brand purist, then you'd be happy to know that Huffy has a few e-bikes up its sleeves. The 26-inch Huffy Transit e-bike features a 36-volt removable and rechargeable battery that can deliver up to 25 miles of range on a single charge. This fun-to-ride, 21-speed electric bike also has a 350-watt rear hub motor and a two-year warranty on the electric components. The bike comes with dual mechanical disc brakes front suspension, and only one color, black. The price for the Transic is $999. The Huffy Oslo Folding E-Bike is a pedal-assisted and storage-friendly e-bike with a 36-volt battery and 250-watt rear hub motor, allowing it to reach a top speed of 20 miles per hour. The seven-speed micro-shift twist shifter is unique to this list and pairs great with the Shimano rear derailleur. The wheel size is 20 inches, the rims are aluminum, and the tires are 1.95 inches wide. The rear cargo rack houses the battery pack and also offers storage space for grocery runs and commuting. And I found this e-bike for $800 on Amazon and $650 on Cabela's but perhaps you are looking for an e-bike that isn't on this list. If that's true, then please consider subscribing and let us know what e-bike you want us to review. And if you want to see another great video, be sure to check this one out right now. Goodbye!